I've got the OnePlus 7 Pro here. And this device has a feature call that allows the screen to refresh at 90 hertz. But today I want to show you how to limit that to just 60 hertz. So just in case you aren't familiar with this feature, when OnePlus announced the OnePlus 7 Pro, they announced to the world that it had a 90 hertz display meaning that every second the screen will refresh 90 times. You can think of it as a gaming desktop monitor. Those that have a 120 or even 140 hertz displays allows you to get 120 or 140 frames per second while you're in a video game. So the same concept we have here, the OnePlus 7 has a 90 hertz display, so in certain situations, it will refresh the screen 90 times per second. So you get 90 frames per second. However, again, I do want to point out that that is only in certain situations. It is not a constant 90 hertz at all times. And you may even have noticed this while you're scrolling through, say, a Twitter feed, and then come across a video that autoplays, because as soon as the OnePlus 7 Pro detects that a video is playing, then it dynamically drops it down to 60 hertz for better video playback. And you're going to see this dynamic change in multiple situations. I don't have an exact list right now. But if you look at the full tutorial for my website, and you can find a link for that in the video description, I will have a list of specific instances where even if you have these settings set to 90 hertz, the OnePlus 7 Pro will drop it down to 60 hertz. So you may be asking yourself, well, why would you want to change the OnePlus 7 Pro from 90 hertz to 60 hertz. One of the biggest reasons is battery life. Having the screen refresh at 90 times every single second uses up more battery than 60 hertz. It, that's just natural physics. It's using more of the uh, system on a chip and it's using more of the hardware of the display so therefore the battery life is going to be the battery usage is going to be higher and another reason is because of those specific instances when you go from 90 to 60 it can be quite jarring to the performance or the perceived performance of the smartphone like you're scrolling through your twitter feed and it's very very smooth and then all of a sudden you hit that video and it kind of jerks and you see that jank that's because of the dynamic change so to change the OnePlus 7 Pro from a 90 Hertz display to a 60 Hertz we simply need to open up the settings application we are going to dive into the display option and then right there in the first top half of the screen you're gonna see this option here called screen refresh rate so by default, it is set to 90. However, we just need to change that to 60. And now our phone is refreshing at 60 frames per second. With this feature changed and us set to 60 hertz, the smoothness of scrolling, you're not going to see that abrupt jank whenever you're going through your Twitter feed and then come across a video. And that can even happen in websites too. And you will actually see an increase in battery life with the setting set to 60 hertz. So a lot of people are very sensitive to the 60 frames per second versus 90 frames per second. Uh, changing this is just something that I suggest you try. A lot of people cannot tell the difference to the naked eye just in regular everyday situations on their smartphone between 60 and 90. 
So unless you're doing any competitive mobile gaming or unless you can actually notice the increase in smoothness while th doing things like scrolling, then go ahead and try setting your screen to the 60 hertz option on the OnePlus 7 Pro and save yourself some battery life.